Hey, K, hey, what's up? So this is Garth again from Holy Sins Tattoos. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, I believe that you've seen my first uh, video. Uh, we talked about how to become a tattoo artist. Now, we're actually going to be talking about the basic items or equipments that we need to start tattooing. Okay? So I set up some uh, samples and uh, we're going to be discussing that later in the video. Okay? Alright. Okay, so these are examples of coil machines. Okay, so we have a liner and we have a shader. Okay, so this machine This is the one that I use usually for lining. Yep, yeah, it has a good power. I like it when I use this for uh, doing traditional tattoos, um, designs with a lot of lines, especially if I need to do um, power lining. Yep, uh, this is one of my favorite. Uh, coil machines and I'm um, actually uh, this is my very first coil machine and also this one now this one this is the one that I use for shading as you can see this is uh, already converted to RCA yeah, so that I, I don't need to change um, my cord every now and then because I'm already using a, a pen type usually so uh, it's gonna be much more convenient for me, especially when I'm gonna be using this one. Okay, so I, I try to combine, you know, um, when I'm using my machine. It's, it's really depending on the uh, designs that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so it's either that I'm just gonna be using a coil machine or just a pen type rotaries, or I can actually use both. So it really depends, especially for neotrad designs or styles. Yeah, I use um, coil machines. This liner, I use this for power lining, uh, for power lines, and then for shading, it's either this one or my my pen type or rotary. Yeah, it's actually really convenient to use the rotaries nowadays because uh, you just need one machine, and then you can just change the needle so because it's already using a, a needle cartridge so it's gonna be really convenient this one is also a shader yeah oops <laughs> all right yeah this is actually a good shader as well I actually bought this at uh, black angel tattoos yeah if you uh, if you actually want to buy uh, tattoo supplies, machines, or whatever um, concerning tattoo products, yep, you can actually uh, go and check out Black Angel Tattoo Supplies. Yeah, uh, their items there are very affordable and it's good quality. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, so for rotary machines, okay, this is my pen type rotary, and uh, I have this one, which is the Shine Thunder, but I believe this is just a class A type of um, Shine Thunder machine. Yeah, but this is also good, you know, even if it's just class A. Yeah. Okay, so for this pen type, uh, the rotary machine, as you can see, this was actually made by Joel Hernandez of Joser Philippines. This is actually a great machine. I like this one. It's a rotary and it's a pen type. As I mentioned earlier, yeah, it's already using a cartridge needle, which is really convenient. Yeah, like before, we need to carry a lot of machines, <laughs> especially when we're doing home services. Yeah, it's a drag. But now you can actually just bring one machine 
and you can get the job done. Okay? So because it's really convenient, you can just easily change your needles. Okay. Alright. Okay, so these are the basic equipments or tools that you need in tattooing and also that you need in your shop or studio. Okay, so first we actually have the grip. Okay, this is the grip. For grips, we have different sizes. This one is a large one, and I believe this is a medium. Okay, so we have the grip, we have the tubes. Of course, we have the machine. This is a liner. Next, we have a foot switch. Okay. As you can see, there's a there's a cord wrap, you know, to keep it sanitized. But uh, um, always be sure. Every time you're gonna have a session, you always replace this. Okay. So, technically I don't really use foot switch anymore because the power supply that I'm using doesn't need, or you can actually use it without using a foot switch, alright? And don't worry, these are sanitized, okay? Alright, I haven't used this one for a while. Alright, so this is a foot, uh, foot switch, anyway. This is a cord. Clip cord. Okay. Clip cord. And of course, the power supply. Okay. I'm gonna show you how it works later. Okay. Alright. Okay, as for the other materials, yeah, we have the green soap. I'm gonna show you how to make one later, but you can always just buy. Um at your local tattoo stores or supply shops okay but uh, if you don't want to do that I can actually show you an alternative way it's still gonna be the same so uh, it's gonna be an antibacterial green soap okay so we have the green soap of course spray bottle uh, for your alcohol this is an alcohol 70% uh, alcohol we have our wash cup and for our ink cups okay. next is your ink I'm using dynamic of course you need this one masking tape okay. you can use that one uh, petroleum gel or for this one it's a Tattoo Balm from Ignite. I like this one. It smells good. Makes you want to eat it, but don't. Yeah, here's the petroleum gel. Okay. Of course. Stick. <laughs> this is actually a popsicle stick, but... Uh, no, not. More likely an ice cream stick. Or spoon. But sometimes they use tongue depressors. Okay. All right, and of course we have our cling wrap. Cling wrap, okay. Oh, we also have this one. It's a grip tape for tattoos. For the tattoo grip, okay. Grip tape. The usage of this one, you know, uh, it makes you feel comfortable when you're actually using the machine because of the, vib the vibration. But for me, I kind of depend on the vibration. That's how I know uh, if I'm actually going deep or, or if I'm able to put it right on the skin. Yeah, we'll be uh, discussing that later. Okay. So next we have the stencil solution uh, this also came from ignite yeah I've been using this it's really good buy one 
Alright. I can testify that this is really good. Of course, stencil paper. If you need one. Now let's go to the needles. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that for the rotary machine pen type, uh, we're using cartridges. So this is an example of a cartridge needle. For this one, uh, as you can see, there are uh, needle types showing there. So this is a 7M1. Yeah, you can actually see it there. Yeah, there you go. See? 7M1. Alright. 7 Magnum bug type needle. Okay, this is a cartridge needle. And for the standard needles, yeah, we have this one. It looks like this. For the standard needles. Okay. Okay, so for this type of needle, what do we have here? This is a 7RSC, as you can see. Yeah, don't be confused. Though, or you don't need to make it so complicated. So, yeah, there you go. To know what type of needle this is, yeah, just cover the one, two, three. Seven RS, see? Seven RS, RS means round shader. You see it? Yeah, this is a round shader. Seven RS. And for this one, this an this is an example of uh, a shader uh, needle, uh, Magnum. This is a nine M one. See? I'm just gonna cover the one twenty there. <laughs> All right, it's a 9M1, so this is a 9 mag, usually used for shader, oh sorry, for shading, used for shading, okay, and this one, this is uh, for lining, this is 7RL, okay, you see, again, do you know what type of needle it is? Seven RL. RL means round liner. Okay. Now, of course, for this standard needles, you'll be needing tips. So for this one, I don't really use stainless tips, yeah, because it's. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not saying that I'm lazy in cleaning it and disinfecting it but it's gonna be really more convenient and really fast for you to just you know yeah and it saves you time man <laughs> it saves you time in, in cleaning the stuff and disinfecting them but it really depends some artists they prefer using stainless tips but for me I prefer this one Disposable tips. And of course, very important, <laughs> this is the, the thing that you really, really need, is the latex gloves. Okay, so don't work if you don't have this one. Okay, even if you have all the materials in tattooing, but if you don't have a glove, man, don't do it. Okay, because you're gonna be causing a lot of cross-contamination it's gonna be really risky in your part and also to your client all right well, you can always uh, buy them at your local uh, uh, boutique store or pharmacy or your local tattoo supply shop okay all right this is really really important and also this one of course safety first man Alright, so we need to have the face mask as well. Every time you're gonna do a session, always make sure that you're wearing these. Okay? Alright. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Okay, and of course we have the paper towel. Of course, you're gonna be needing this in wiping off the ink when you're already in session. Alright? Okay. Okay, so... Uh... Those are the basic materials or equipments that we need in tattooing. All right, so always remember that uh, you know you need to be sure that all the items that you need are there. You know, especially the gloves, of course, the the, the mask, the machine, uh, of course, the ink, the ink cups. 
you know, actually all of them. All of them are very important. Okay, but of course, some of the items there are going to be disposable, okay? So don't have any, uh, any second thoughts in throwing them away, right? That's okay, okay, because you can always have them replaced. You don't need to recycle them, all right? Okay, so uh, because that's going to be a big no-no. We need to practice uh, proper hygiene and sanitation. That is really, really important, especially in the type of uh, craft that we are actually doing. Okay, so enjoy tattooing. All right, and I'll see you again next time. If you have any comments, just leave it below or just send me a message, whatever. All right, and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always click the notification bell so that you're going to be notified if there are any new videos. Okay, so I'm going to be posting a lot, of, a lot more videos. Uh, most likely next time we're going to be um, discussing how to... Uh, use the machine, okay? How to tune up the, the how to tune the, the, the coil machine and uh, how to use the rotary machines, okay? All right, so we're gonna be discussing that on our next meeting. Okay, so well, I'll see you again. Have a nice day.